The key goal of the lay pension system was to increase financial security for lay employees. The church has offered retirement plans to lay employees for years, as early as 1980s, but there were inconsistencies in how those plans were being administered as well as offered to employees. So the lay pension system was created to drive consistencies and to improve the financial security of lay employees. In the 10 years since the implementation of the lay pension system, we're delighted that over 20,000 lay employees have been enrolled. As we all know, one of the most significant issues in our country is retirement readiness. So many people are not prepared to face retirement in a financially secure way. The lay pension system has favorably impacted lay employees in that they've increased their contribution rates to retirement. Their account balances have increased. Not only are more people joining, they are putting their money in to help prepare for retirement. When we talk to our lay employees, most of them feel that the lay pension system provides some generous benefits, especially as compared to the industry benchmarks. But when we ask them how confident you feel about retirement, about half of them say either somewhat confident or very confident. That means half of them don't feel very confident about it, so there's more work for us to do there. Right now, many of them feel they've got to work to 72 and beyond to feel comfortable for retirement. That might be okay, but you want them to have the option of when to retire. So there is more need to think about, can more money go into the plan, either from employees or employers? What are different ways we can do that? And what are different ways we can educate lay employees about overall financial planning?